Hello. In this video we're going to go over the inventory section of our website. As you can see in this page we have the date that this page was last updated. The inventory information was last updated. We have a search button which gives you search options to filter your list which we'll go into later. Next video to show you the data that's in this we have listed in rows each item. Uh, the columns here describe what's in each column, lot number, category, description, seller type, mileage, and fuel type. Each pane has a toolbar at the top and the bottom. They're identical. Uh, they let you navigate through. Initially, each pane has 10 items listed. and that fifth, This particular one has 51 pages to give you the 510 items shown here. You can change the number of items per page by clicking this drop down and selecting a different number of items per page. As you can see, it extends the pane by that number of items to that many of items, which means you have to scroll. But you do have a toolbar at the bottom that leads us to the page options. You can page forward or backwards, last page, first page. I'll show you how that works page 2 or I can just click page 3 and it'll go directly to page 3. The one that's not underlined is the current page and that lets you basically page through the inventory. If you want to see more detail on a specific item, go to the lot number, click on the lot number and a more detailed page is made available to you. That gives you a little more information about the, of the item, pictures of the item which you can navigate through using these options and the online bid status of the item which we'll talk about in a future video. To close that, you simply click the X, it closes and goes back to the list that you were on. You can sort your list by clicking the column heading. If I want to sort, for example, by description, I click the description heading and now you can see that it's sorted there. If I click it again, I can change it from ascending to descending order do any one of these columns the same way. I'll select here to sort by fuel type. So all my CNG are first, diesel, and it's alphabetical in ascending order, or I can click it again and it's in descending order. That pretty much is an overview of what you can do in the inventory preview. In the next video, we're going to talk about the search options, which lets you filter what items you can see in the preview. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.